birds hiding in plain sight. Many birds use camouflage to not be detected by predators. But predators also use camouflage to not be detected by their prey. Owls, like this African scops owl, use their coloration to mask their location and identity by roosting against a tree trunk that matches its coloring very well. Note their cryptic camouflage as well in the form of mottling, streaking and the white plumage on the face looking like flaking lichen. When the eyes are closed and the ear tufts are erect, it looks like pieces of flaking bark against the tree trunk. And the beautiful bright red underparts of the Narina trogon that lives in forests is very conspicuous, even from a distance. But when the trogon senses danger, it simply turns its back to the threat, making it difficult to see in the dense green foliage of the forest. Many birds that live in green shrubbery and forests are green in colour. This class's cuckoo hides in the green leaves while surveying the area for host nests in which the female can lay its eggs. This Nasna Turaka is hard to see against the green forest background. And the spotted creepers use their colouring and cryptic camouflage to blend in with the lichen-covered branches that they forage on to go undetected by predators. Their darker colouring and white spots makes it almost impossible to see them especially when they freeze against the branch in response to danger. In the dry, arid Karoo, the birds that live out on the exposed open plains have the same colouring as the dry vegetation around them, like these Karoo Korans. Note how they crouch low when they walk, so as not to be seen above the low karoo bushes. Can you see this lark? When they are seen from the back, they are almost invisible in the dry grass. And this is the Rufus Nape lark that is just visible from closer up. And see how this eastern long billed lock blends in with its arid surroundings too. Note how this ground scraper thrush turns its back to disappear against the brown soil it is standing on. Red throated rhinics blend in perfectly with the tree bark. Its colorings and markings match its surroundings very well. Can you spot this one here? It is at its nesting hole. Nocturnal birds need to roost undetected during the bright light of the day, like this Cape Eagle Owl is roosting on a cliff in mottled shade. Its blotches make it hard to see in this dappled light. And see how the spotted Eagle Owl blends in with the bark and lichen of this tree. And in another tree in darker shade. Nightjars normally roost on the ground in the daytime. This fiery neck nightjar was roosting under a bush. The spotted markings on this nocturnal spotted thick knee 
help to break up the outlines of the bird and help it merge with its surroundings. And this water thickney roosts along river banks and rocks, so its disruptive coloration helps it to not be noticed by predators. Look how camouflaged this grey sunbird is in the coral tree. Birds also camouflage their nests and eggs. See how this chin spot batis has covered its nest with lichen. And these three banded plover eggs blend in with the gravel they are lying on. Nests that are on the ground have to be very well camouflaged. Note how these speckled eggs of a water thickney are hard to see, especially from a few meters away. It is survival of the fittest out there in nature. And birds have evolved the right colouring and markings for their particular habitats. Isn't nature incredible? Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments you have down below.